this tungsten, I think. Tungsten is a very hard and heavy element. It has a number of important uses. It is used in the filament of light bulbs, the, the ordinary sort of light bulbs, because it has more or less the highest boiling point of any element. And therefore, you can use it as the filament and it can get very hot without very much evaporation onto the walls. If you add iodine into the gas around the bulb, you can run it at even higher temperatures, the so-called quartz halogen lamps. And sometimes you see these in upmarket cars. Yeah, it's tungsten. So this is tungsten. Tungsten is used as, a, as, a, as an element material to form the very, very fine wire that we may have used in old-style um, electric light bulbs. It's a really quite wonderful metal and it's, it's actually used in nature. But here we have a really quite beautiful sample. This is a single crystal of tungsten which is mounted. Tungsten carbide, the compound of tungsten and carbon, is used in the very um, tip, the balls in the tip of a baro pen or ballpoint pen. Really quite amazing. I've got some other tungsten here somewhere and in fact here is a very very fine wire of tungsten and this is precisely the type of material that was used in the formation of very early electric light bulbs. Really quite amazing metal. Um, there's also quite a nice book by Oliver Sacks who is an Englishman who now is a, um, lives in America called Uncle Tungsten. There are not many books that have chemical names in the title and this is a um, story of his childhood and how chemistry really um, <coughs> had a big effect on him. That's lovely.